I said to you, black man, read it for him. Who shall rise up for me against the evildoers? Who gonna stand up for God against the evildoers, brother? No! When we gonna read these curses, and I want you to tell me which nation of people these curses fall upon because he was speaking to the Israelites. That's a nation of people Moses was speaking to. So tell me who these curses fall upon in history. Give me the curses. Verse 48. Give me 32 first. Verse 32. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So God said, your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people. This happened where they, in slavery they took our sons and daughters and take them to other countries. You, you see that in the movies. What's in the name of the movie? Roots. Roots. You saw Roots? Yes, they take away the children and they don't know. They, can't, they don't know if they're going to see their children. This is history that happened to our nation. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. And it happened today also in child, child services where they take away your children. This, these curses are still going on today. Unless we come back to the laws, we're going to be living these curses today. So I know you might think you're free, but we're still in these curses today. Read on. And fail with longing for them all the day long. Yeah, their eyes shall fail and long with longing for them all the day. You wishing that you could see your children. This happened to our forefathers. They took their children and they didn't know if they're going to see. They never saw their children again. You know, sometimes you see somebody looking like somebody and resemblance and stuff like that. This is an outcome of all of this. Read on. And there shall be no might in thine hand. So God said you wouldn't be able to do nothing about it. This is one of the curses. Read on. No military might, no economical might. We had, we couldn't do nothing when this happened to us. When we was conquered. Read on. Verse 33. Give me verse 40. Seven. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. So because we didn't want to serve God, the same thing like today. We don't want to serve God. God said we are bad. But we said, nah, I want to look just like the white man. Right. He, the white man said, yo, that's clean shave. I want to look nice. You understand? But God said, keep the structure of your beard. God said, don't celebrate Christmas. We want to follow their holy days. Their holy days. But right. we don't want to follow God holy days. God have holy days in this Bible that we ought to keep. But we follow Thanksgiving, where they kill your brothers, the Native American Indians. We follow Christmas, we follow Halloween. Pagans, idols, independence, July 4th, all that craziness. You understand? God said don't celebrate that. All right, read on. Because thou serve not, service not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, with gladness, we're supposed to be glad to serve the living God. But we hate God, laws and commandments right. as a nation of people. That's right. We love our enemies and their wicked holidays. Right. But yet we want to talk. We hate our God. Read on. For the abundance of all things. Because for the abundance of all things. Give me 28 verse 1. Let's get an understanding of the abundance of all things. Let's get an understanding of that. Because we're supposed to be happy. Read. Verse 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God was saying, Moses was saying here, yes, if I you listen, all these blessings going to happen. Read on. To observe and to do all his commandments. And you do these commandments. This is the first part. If you listen and if you do them, read which I command thee this day. Look the abundance of all things coming up. Read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. Set us on high above all nations. Not below like we are today. Not equal with the ruling nations. Above them. Right. That's right. God created us to rule this earth, brother. Right. Because of our sins. We are in the lowest. In the communities where you see us. We in the ghetto. We in the slums. No matter where we, you go in Germany, England, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the bottom in society. Right. So the abundance of all things is rulership on this earth. All right, go back to 48. Verse 48. Therefore, 
shalt thou serve thine enemy. So is God said, because you don't want to serve me, no, you're going to serve your enemies. Do you know who are your enemies? Huh? The white man, that's it. Well, that's the number one enemy. But we're going to find out who are your enemies. You got to know all your enemies. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. What that just said. Read that again, friend. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent our enemies against us? Who? The Lord sent our enemies against us. The Lord sent our enemies against us as a nation of people because we refuse to keep his commandments. But guess what? When we oppress, you know who we want to go to? To save us? Check the foolishness. We go to our enemies to save us. Right. You ain't think that's something foolish? God sent our enemies against us. You want to go and march and and hoping that your enemies love you. No, God don't want you to do that. God wants you to acknowledge that you have broke his laws and commandments and turn to him. Not go and march and beg them to love you. Read on. In hunger. Your enemies in hunger when you need food. Who produce the mass? Who produce the food? Who own the manufacturer? All this food, top eyes. Who import and export? Who, who get the raw material for the food? Who? The enemies. The other nations, the, the black man, we don't own no manufacturer manufacturing flour and rice and that type of stuff. We don't. Food. In thirst. Who own the reservoirs? Pool and spring. Who running all of that? Our enemies, the other nations own that. The black Americans don't own no reservoirs up here. Right. Neither in the West Indies. The West in the, the black the black West Indians. God is saying right here, sister, read it again from the top. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. You serving your enemies. That's what the Bible says. That's right. We are serving enemies for food. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Read. Your enemies, God send them against you because you don't want to turn and keep his laws. Read. In hunger. When you need food. In thirst. When you need water, you gotta depend on your enemies. And in nakedness. When you need clothing, the raw material for all of your clothes is coming from your enemies. Right. right. We don't run, we don't have an economy. You understand? That's one of the reasons why we are at the bottom. We don't profit from the economy. That's a curse that we got to depend on our enemies for everything. All these nations profiting off of these things. But we at the bottom are we just consumers. We don't even own our own stores in our communities. You see how bad it is? It's a curse. Read on. In, in the want of all things. In the want of all things. No matter what you need. A birth certificate, a death certificate. A license. Where you got to go to get a license. Where you got to go to get your passport. Your enemies. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. The enemies will put a yoke of iron in the neck. Where is that history? Right here. No. You understand how serious this book is? This ain't no nothing to play with. God's word ain't nothing to play with, brother. We never understood this by the book. God is sending his spirit. God has sent his spirit back on the earth to revive his people. That's what's going on right now. Your pastors haven't taught you who you are in the Bible and what you got to do to serve the most high lord you have been deceived right shalom this i'm elder nathaniel israel united in christ YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. 
So again, please make sure you subscribe to this join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on our YouTube channels. Shalom.